songa te wali na kunenyezewa o mutukuvu o wetu sa we konjewa wa foli welele wa foke chivume
are sicknesses that only God can heal. And as we worship, it is happening. They are sicknesses that only God can heal. And as we worship, it is happening. They are sicknesses that only God can heal. And as we worship, it is happening. They are sicknesses that only God can heal. And as we worship, it is happening. Hallelujah. Menya mani gasitani menyeratana. Menya mani gasitani mulinya lia Yesu. Yono na mani ge no wakaba kabwe zijira wodala amanya go. Menya mani gasitani menyeratana. Menya mani gasitani mulinya lia Yesu. Yono na masoge. No wakaba kawe Zijira wadala ama nyago Menya mani gasitani menye radala Menya mani gasitani mulinyari a Yesu Yono na mani ge No wakaba kawe Zijira wadala ama nyago One more time Menya mani gasitani menye radala Menya mani gasitani mulinya lia Yesu Yono na mani ge No wakaba kawe Zijira wadala ama nyago Menya mani ge dogo menye radala Menya mani ge dogo menye radala Yo no na mani ge no wakaba kawe zichira odala amanya go menya mani ge misimu menye radala menya mani ge misimu menye radala yo no na mani ge no wakaba kawe zichira odala amanya go. Hallelujah, you must say the voice of your Raise your voice. To yingirida wo mulutalo mukasera kanu. We are going right away in spiritual warfare. Bai bega mateturwa na nambiri na musai. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Wabula turanyi so wengula. But we wrestle against principalities. Turanyi so waka wako we chizikiza. We wrestle against powers of darkness. Turanyi sabala ngira bafugira mubanga. We wrestle against principalities in a heaven. You must say the voice of your mukasera kanu. Raise your voice at this moment. Otandiko kurana. And begin to fight. Mukama katonda wa ishira. Lord God of Israel We come to you at this moment Dedicating ourselves in the blood We dedicate our children in the blood We dedicate our spouses in the blood We dedicate our houses in the blood We dedicate our siblings in the blood We also dedicate ourselves in the blood And we pray that you will decree as the end of death is passing by You will not come near our house You will not come near our children You will not come near our marriages And you devil will say unto you The blood of Jesus Is against you today And we say When you are passing You angel of death You discriminate against our house You discriminate against our children 
discriminate against our marriage. You discriminate against our homes. And we decree by reason of the covenant of blood. Even the prisoners are escaping. No, today we are escaping the trap of the enemy. We are escaping the murderers waiting for us in the way. We are escaping for those who are being paid to cross the Jews. We are escaping God of Israel. We are escaping God of mighty. Our houses are escaping death. They are escaping accidents. They are escaping it. By reason of the covenant to of our blood, we are escaping today. And we send the blood of Jesus on the altars of the heaven. Where they are seated making declarations. We are making declarations. They are declaring that we shall die. They are declaring that our children will not see tomorrow. Send the blood of Jesus. Send the blood of Jesus. We are the spoken death for you. Let the blood of Jesus speak life. We are the spoken diseases for you. Let the blood of Jesus speak healing for you. We are the spoken failure for you. We send the blood of Jesus on the every altars of the heaven. And we say blood of Jesus that speaks better words. The blood of Jesus that decrees better things. We send you today to plead for us. We are the spoken crippleness of us. The blood of Jesus who speak walking. We are the spoken shame for us. The blood of Jesus who speak glory for us. We are the voice today. That is your voice today. We are the blood of Jesus who speak walking. Begins to speak for me. On the altars of the wicked. We are the seated making declarations. We are the seated bewitching. We are the seated and the same we shall not succeed. Blood of Jesus. May you speak victory. Blood of Jesus. It's better than the blood of animals. The blood of Jesus. It's more powerful than the blood of animals. Blood of animals that are slaughtered as they make enchantments, as they bewitch, the blood of Jesus, Reverend, today, ask the blood of Jesus, ask the blood of Jesus, to speak for you, raise your voice, and say blood of Jesus, may you speak for me, may you speak for me, may you speak for me, even as Jesus lives, the cup as he lifted out the cup and said this is my blood of a new covenant even as today we lift up that blood the blood of a new covenant as we cancel every old covenant that we have made on evil altars that we have made on altars of Satan that we are made on the altars of the wicked one the blood of Jesus to cancel every covenant and Lord as you say Isaiah 28 in verse 18 that we will cancel the covenant today all God all the covenant that we are made before we are born but we are made in the lineages but we are made that are hunting our house that are hunting our children that are hunting our marriages we cancel every covenant we cancel every covenant we cancel every covenant we cancel them today we cancel them today and Lord you say when the new comes in the old is made up for it we lift up the covenant of the blood because it is the new covenant and all the old covenant destroyed in the name of Jesus and 
He sold covenants. 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 He is being cancelled. Is being cancelled. Is being cancelled. Every old covenant. Is being cancelled. Today. The new covenant. Of a blind. We put on the anointing. Of Jeremiah one. Ten. And as we approve. As we tear down. As we pray. As we pray. As we pray. That is planted. To cause sorrow in our houses. To cause tears in our houses. To cause crying in our houses. To we uproot them. To we tear them down. We break them. And we say, You altars. You shall not prosper. You altars. You shall not prosper. All Uganda. Reverend. You must say the words in your Raise your voice. All Nakurale. Today. All Angiri. And decree. And you will all tie at every altar that is planted to cause sorrow that is planted to cause death that is planted to cause tears 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 that has been planted. To we tear it down. To we break it down. To we cast it down. God, you said in your word. Whatever your father did not plant, we are pruning. Every altar that has been planted. To refuse you to succeed. Today, we are pruning. We tear it down. We break it in the name of we break it in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. We send it the fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. The Lord, you said, and you told Gideon, uproot your father's altar. God, even the altar that I lean against, it is not hurting. The altar planted by our ancestors. This symbol why being uprooted to Langirida and we decree to him the coltari a gorogos standing on the coltar of Golgo to him the coltari a calvary stand on the altar of Calvary to him the coltari we are standing on the altar of that of God or Unakura to a lezo murido we send a fire or go my own to fire on the Holy Ghost everybody all time then it's every old everybody all time then it's every old time it's in the door that has been planted to cause problems, to cause sorrow, to cause crying. In the Lord God of Israel, we lift up the altar of Golgotha, of Calvary. Of Calvary. The Lord, you said in your word, there is no witchcraft against Israel. No one cast against Jacob. Today, every witchcraft, every cast, today. Every witchcraft, every curse, every evil word that has been planted in the altars of Satan to hurt us, we send it to the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord, you who stopped, you who stopped the donkey that was going to cast the children of Israel, you can still stop the you can stop witchcraft. You can stop curses. Lord, you say the house of the right has no curse. The house of the right has a blessing. And you even say a curse that has no cause shall not allow you. Today, raise your voice. Raise your voice. And decree that a curse 
that has no cause cannot align a cancer that has no cause cannot align a cancer we are blessed in your house Lord I decree a blessing in my house a blessing that has no sorrow I decree a blessing that has no sorrow I decree a blessing that has no tears I decree a blessing that has no cry I decree a blessing that has no worry and Lord I say I shall be above I shall not be beneath and men unto the nations and I will not borrow Lord I will not borrow Lord God of Israel to them O God I decree again in the name of Jesus that my storehouses shall always be full and Lord you will not inflict on me the diseases you will inflict on the Egyptians today oh God give me a blessing in the city and give me a blessing in the country Lord you say that those who trust in the Lord shall be blessed you say that whoever trusts in man shall be cast Lord we are trusting in you we have come to tap a blessing we have come to tap a blessing we have come to tap a blessing and Lord we decree because we know very well that you are the one who makes the witch mad and when Balaam opened his mouth to cast it became a blessing and Lord when Balaam opened his mouth to cast it became a blessing it became a blessing it became a blessing Lord may you change the words those who are seated on altars making it may you change their words those that are making it those that are meant for evil may they become a blessing those who are meant to fail us may you change their words may they become a blessing once of prosperity those who are meant to make us sick let them become healthy change the curse and let him become a blessing and we will worship you Jesus and we will praise you Jesus and we will give you fun Jesus because nothing is too hard for you you are worthy Jesus you are worthy God of Israel you are worthy God of Israel you are worthy God of Almighty. You are worthy God of heaven and earth. You are worthy Father who never changes, who never fails. You are worthy Jesus. Thank you God of Israel. Now we welcome you God the fighter. The mighty man of war. Lord we welcome you God the warrior. The man of God the fighter. Lord we welcome you God the fighter. The mighty man of war. 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 We welcome you today. You are called Jehovah Nisi. 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 And a banner of victory for us. It faces it before the enemy. Lord, we run unto you. We run unto you even today. You said in your word, vengeance is yours. Lord, today we are running to you. We are running to you, God of Israel. We run unto you, God Almighty. We run unto you, God of heaven. We run unto you, God who never changes, who never fails. We run unto you, priest. We hide in you, O God. Father who never changes, who never fails. And we say, may you arise, God of Israel. Let your enemies be scattered. May you arise, God of Israel. Let your enemies be scattered. Decree a scattering. In the camp of the enemy, they in the camp of the wicked. David prayed and said, "Oh God, confuse their words and divide them. Lord, let them not agree. There is a plan to murder. Let them not agree. There is a plan to murder. Let them not agree. There is a plan to murder. Let them not agree. There is a plan to murder. Let them not agree. There is a plan to murder. Let them not agree. There is a plan to murder. Let them not agree. There is a plan to murder. Let them not agree. There is a plan to murder. As a plan to falsely accuse us. May you divide their hands. May you confuse them. 
tabule. Confuse them. Zi tabule, tabule. Confuse them. Who come against them? Lord, they will come against them. Baba duki da mukuboli. Using one way. Ne tu la angiri da. That we decree. Chibana duki da makubo mchanz. They scatter in seven ways. Basa sana. They are scattering. Basa sana. They are scattering. Basa sana. They are scattering. Who come against Lord, may you raise. Goloko sa. May you raise. Goloko sa. May you raise. Aba wakani. A contender. Aba na aba wakani. Who will contend against? Mukambi ya we yenyi. In the very camp. Goloko sa mukam. May you raise, O Lord. Goloko sa bayona sa. May you raise a Jonathan. Goloko sa baruben. May you raise the Ruben. Goloko sa bakesi. May you raise a Spar. Goloko sa katonda wa Israel. May you raise God of Israel. Goloko sa mukam. May you raise, O Lord. Goloko sa nebe modeka. May you raise a modeka. Aba na aba lopa. Who will report them? The plan is our chesina item. Before the plan. Go through. Goloko sakabona. May you raise a priest. Hela mukama katonda wa Israel. In God of Israel. Kwate ingabona kagabu. May you hold shield and back. Tabara kure nyumba ya. Fight for my house. Tabara kubo ufumbo ba. Fight for my marriage. Tabara kuraba na ba. Fight for my. Tabara kuro buwele sabu. Fight for the ministry. Tabara katonda wa Israel. In God of Israel. Kwate ingabona kagabu. Hold shield and back. Tabara. And fight. Tabara. And fight. Tabara. And fight. Daudi ya sabu. David prayed. Chimubunya. In the peace. Omulabe wansi vinde. The enemy has dug for me. Una kurare. Today. Ana. He's falling in the very place. 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 He's Against my children, against the businesses, against the ministry, we rip them of the glory, we rip them of the glory, we rip them of the glory, we rip them of the power, we rip them of the authority. We rip them of the glory, we rip them of the power, we rip them of the authority. We rip them of the glory, we rip them of the power, we rip them of the authority. We rip them of the glory, we rip them of the power, we rip them of the authority. We rip them of the glory, we rip them of the power, we rip them of the authority. We rip them of the glory, we rip them of the power, we rip them of the authority. We rip them of the glory, we rip them of the power, we rip them of the authority. We rip them of the glory, we rip them of the power, we rip them of the authority. The chariots of Pharaoh. And you weaken them. We can witchcraft. We can evil spirits. We can diseases. We can the attacks. We can the false accusations. We can God of Israel. We can all God. We can all Father. We can all Jesus. We can all Jesus. So who descended? No, na fuya. Na fuya runa kurare. You weaken today. Buli chakura ni sa. Every weapon. Chile mo kura ba mukis. Let it not prosper. 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 Let it not Gerenge tanya. You frustrate. Gerenge tanya. You frustrate. We katonda gerenge tanya. You God who frustrate. We ya gerenge tanya in kambi ya Saul. You frustrate the camp of Saul. No gerenge tanya in kambi ya Pharaoh. You frustrate the camp of Pharaoh. No gerenge tanya in kambi ya ba 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 lumbi eko so far. You frustrate the camp of those who attack Jehovah. Never run a book, can a book. And they fought amongst them. Gerenge tanya mukasera. You frustrate today. You get in kambi ya Moses. Enter into the camp of Pharaoh. Gerenge tanya kabona. And frustrate all Lord. Gerenge tanya na njere boyinsa. And frustrate God of mind. Gerenge tanya. Frustrate God of heaven and earth. Reverend, raise your hand. Raise your voice. 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 Raise your
From the enemy we can also see. Forget our children. From the enemy they can also see. Forget our houses. From the enemy they can also see. Forget our siblings. From the enemy they can also see. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. You must set the words in your Raise your voice. You must set the words in your Raise your voice. You must set the words in your Raise your voice. I call upon the glory of our Lord. I yoke the Messiah town of Munana. Isaiah fifty eight. Holy Romanana. In verse eight. Church it was a mukam. The glory of our Lord. Shina be romukumi was. Shall be our God. Oh we mabega. Gloria. God man church it was a mukam. The glory of our Lord. Usire mabega. You go behind me. Fuko mukumi. And be the God. Rani sabam pondera. If I those who are pursuing me. Rani sabam pondera. Five those who are pursuing me. Bazi yuse. And he does it. Bazi yuse. And he does it. Fuko muzizi ko. Become a barricade. Eri abam pondera. To those who are pursuing me. Fuko muzizi ko. Become a barricade. Eri abam pondera abana ba. To those who are pursuing my children. Fuko muzizi ko. Become a barricade. Eri abam pondera abaganda ba. And those who are pursuing my children. Fuko muzizi ko. Become a barricade. 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 Wo Luganda. Reverend. You must set the words here. Raise your voice. Wo yongero kukabiri la mukam. Cry out to the Lord. Wo yongero kukabiri la mukam. Cry out to the Lord. Wo yongero kukabiri la mukam. Cry out to the Lord. Oh, young girl, who can be the mukam? Cry out to the Lord. You must set the words here. Raise your voice. Oh, young girl, who can be the mukam? Cry out to the Lord. You must set the words here. Raise your voice. Oh, young girl, who can be the mukam? Cry out to the Lord. Muga menti mukama. And say, Lord, where is the chiti wacho? Send forth your glory. Where is the chiti wacho? Send forth your glory. Chifuko mukumi wa. And be my God. Oh, we mabega. From the rear. Mukamo ina na baranya balala. You have even other fighters. Oh, in Nigeria, you have the heavenly host. Oh, in Abba Malaika. You have the Holy Navarra and Evitara. You have those who are fighting with souls. Where is Abba Makai? We Kai. Angel Michael. Abba and Evitara. Those who fight with souls. O Kurani Ramu Bengula. To fight in the atmosphere. O Kurani Ramu Bengula. To fight in the heaven. O Kurani Ramu Bengula. To fight in the heaven. O Luna Kurare. O Lutalo Romo. The spiritual warfare. To say Jordi. We come to you. Ngam Musa Boyakola. As Moses did. Ngam to say to Kurani Ramu Kaso Zakomo. We have come to fight on the spiritual. To you must say Miko no Jafe. We raise up. Our hands to the Lord who fights and overcomes. As we fight, oh Lord, there is a Joshua who is overcoming. As we fight in the realm of the spirit, our children are overcoming. As we fight in the heavenly, our houses are overcoming. As we fight in the spiritual realm, the ministry is overcoming. As we fight in the spirit, our businesses are overcoming. Our businesses are overcoming. Every time Moses lifted up his hands, Joshua will prevail in the battle. Today, we have come to fight in the realm of the spirit. And you raise our hands. Somebody is overcoming. Somebody in our house is overcoming. In our children, they are overcoming. Somebody in our marriage is overcoming. Somebody in everything of ours is overcoming. Raise your voice. 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 Raise your vo
of fire. May you send a wall of fire. May you send a wall of fire. And Lord, may you surround us. As mountains surround Jerusalem. Surround our children. Surround our marriages. Surround our houses. Surround our siblings. Surround, O Lord. As mountains surround Jerusalem. You will surround us. Surround God of mind. Surround God of heaven and earth. Surround God who never changes. Surround God who never fails. Surround God Almighty. Surround Jesus. Surround all priests. Surround all Father. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, God Almighty. You are worthy, God of heaven and earth. You are worthy, Father, who never changes. Who never fails. You are worthy, Jesus. Brethren, raise your voice. And Lord, we come to you again. Hiding ourselves in your name. Because it is a mighty time. The righteous run into it. And they have said, Today, O oh Lord, we hide in your name. We hide our children in your name. We hide our houses in your name. We hide everything of ours in your name. Because it is a mighty town. Business is a fair. Our businesses. We hide them in your name. And we say under that name. Every knee shall bow down. The knee of cancer shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. 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 Giving thanks as Jesus took of the bread and the fish that were not enough, and He multiplied them. We multiply, O Lord. That woman who has not not have enough money. We multiply, O Lord. Those who do not have enough customers. We multiply, O Lord. Those who do not have enough customers. We multiply, O Lord. Those who do not have enough customers. We multiply, O Lord. Those who do not have enough customers. May you multiply God Almighty. May you multiply God of heaven and earth. May you multiply O priests. May you multiply Jesus. Brethren, lift your hands. Raise your voice. We are decreeing a multiplication. We declare a multiplication. We declare a multiplication. Multiplication in the business. Manipulation in salary. You who multiply bread and fish that were not enough. Let there be a multiplication. Multiplication in the spirit. That those who have come to you today. They even don't have what to eat. You who gives us our daily bread. May you provide for us. May you provide for us God Almighty. 
Provide for us God of heaven. Provide for us God who never changes. Provide for us God of Provide for us Jesus. Provide for us Jesus. You who provided water from the rock. You can provide today. Provide all oh no. Provide for us God of heaven. Provide for us God of heaven and Provide Jesus. Provide Provide all priests. And Lord, we come to you again. Lord, coming Jehovah. God the healer. The palm of Gilead. The Lord who sent forth his one. And he rolled out his sins. There are so many people here. There are those who are watching. They have sick people in the house. They are, they are sick or not. Your soul is the same. The one who moved in Capernaum and Galilee. Healing the sea. Delivering the bound. Even today, oh Lord. You can still heal. Even today, oh Lord. You can still deliver. May you deliver Jesus. May you deliver God Almighty. May you deliver God of heaven. May you deliver God of heaven. May you deliver Father who never fails. May you deliver Jesus. May you deliver Lord, may you heal the sea. You heal the, an issue of blood of the sea. There are those who have diseases that are There are those who have diseases they cannot make. There are those who have recurring sicknesses. But you heal that sick person. She had gone to many doctors. They had also failed. Somebody has come to pray. They have a disease. They have a disease that has failed the sons of men. Today, oh Lord, we decree a healing. We decree deliverance. We decree a visitation. We decree Jesus. We decree God Almighty. We decree O Priest. We thank our Lord Jesus. Because you said in your word, you are the Lord of all flesh. Nothing is too difficult. Today, we present our bodies before you. Wherever there is an ailment, we decree health. There is a pastor. Today, his wife is sick. Oh Lord, your hand that is not too short. You can touch them wherever they are. You can touch them wherever they are. Where they are, you can meet them. Where they are, you can visit them. Where they are, you can do marvelous things in their life. We raise our voices, oh Lord. We raise our voices, Jesus. Where you heal leprosy. Where you heal leprosy. Lord God of Israel. Where you heal leprosy. 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 Heal Jesus. Heal God Almighty. Heal Jehovah Rapha. Heal Father. Heal God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God Almighty. Lord, we thank you. Because you are the resurrection. And you are the life. Lord God of Israel. Every situation that we had buried. The marriages that we buried, the ministry that was buried, the businesses that were buried, come unto us, O Lord, and call them out. Who called out to us? Who called out today? 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 Lord, you are the resurrection. Even the great could not prevail against you. Death, where is your sting? Death, where is your sting? Today, we call out your name. 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 We call
every dead situation in your life. Decree and plant life. Say, my marriage, you are alive. My ministry, you are alive. My businesses, you are alive. Every situation that seems dead. Decree life in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of Israel. Thank you, God Almighty. As we prepare to move out, Lord God of Israel, may you guide us. The Bible says, those who are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. May you order our feet. May you lead us. Take us where we shall be blessed. Lord God of Israel, Take us where there is silver and gold. You hold the children of Israel. And took them to the houses of the Egyptians. They bought silver and gold. May you lead us today. May you lead us today. That we shall go where we shall seek. We shall go where we shall find. We shall not go into temptation. But Lord God of Israel, you take, may you take us. Where there is your grace, where there is your glory, where there is victory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Holy Spirit a powerful hand clap. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we go into the word, we are going to build our altars. We are going to give our sacrifices to the Lord. It's time to sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. When we come into the presence of God, we don't just shout. Elijah shouted. He called upon the God that answers by fire. Hallelujah. Amen. He called upon the God that answers by fire. But he still put a bull on the altar. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, we are bringing our bulls. Hallelujah. Amen. Whenever you have a chance to dialogue with God, always build an altar. Hallelujah. Amen. An altar is a landing ground for the spiritual realm. And the sacrifice invokes the spirit on the altar. That's why when Elijah sacrificed, God came down as fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you want to see God coming down? It is time to sacrifice. Hallelujah. The prostitute who came to the feet of Jesus did not even talk. She just poured an alabaster jar at the feet of Jesus. She poured what was precious and the spirit of God was invoked. And the voice of God said to her, wherever this gospel is preached, this woman shall be remembered. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is a good God. And all the time, our God is good. Hallelujah. And all our sacrifices are going to go to Karamoja. God has been routing a great work in Karamoja. It is beautiful, it is wonderful, it is godly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And um, those are the, 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 the combine harvesters. 
And um, that, that, that is not soil, that is food. We have harvested. We have put the foods in bags. And we have written, Jesus is Lord. And we are giving it to the poor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we are also planting. We we don't we are we are we are planting over a wide area as you can see. And uh, we do not want to be, you know, harvesting and sowing all the time. We want to plant to sow over wide acreage so that Karaboja has a, a, a continuous supply of food. The word of God came to um Cornelius. And he said, your prayers and your giving of alms have come up to God as a memorial. Hallelujah. Amen. Today as you give, as you build your altar, as you sacrifice, your prayers and the giving of alms are coming up to God as a memorial and God is going to give you exceedingly, abundantly, so much more than you can think of or even ask for. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time, our God is a good God. Hallelujah. Amen. The number is on the screen for those of you who are giving without. Don't just pray and run away. No. When Abraham came to meet God in Genesis, he built an altar. He sacrificed because an altar is a landing ground for the spiritual realm. When the wise men came to meet the baby Jesus, the Bible says when they saw the baby Jesus, they pulled out their gifts. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you are in the presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, build an altar sacrifice when God visited Abraham's house as three men he, he built an altar he gave them something to eat hallelujah and after the Bible says after God had eaten he said I will return next I would return this time and your wife will be with child. So the sacrifice invokes the spirit on the altar. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the opportunity to give even today. And Father, as your word says, as we give, may it be given unto us. Good measure. Press down. Shaken together. Shall men give unto our bosoms. And Father, again we pray that as we build our altars, as we sacrifice today, the Spirit of God on this altar is invoked. We are about to see the God that answers by fire intervening for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Intervening on our behalf. Fighting for us. Father, we thank you that our prayers and the giving of arms have come up to you as a sacrifice. And Father, Lord, we thank you that he who gives the poor lends to, the, to you. And you are going to repay us with interest as you have said in your word. For those of us that are tithing, rebuke the devourer for our sake. Open up the windows of heaven. Father, we thank you one more time that you, those of us who are coming 
to give in tears we return rejoicing bearing sheaves of joy and those of us who are giving in famine will reap a hundredfold in the name of Jesus we have prayed amen and amen hallelujah amen Mulungi akoze biruji mutima kwange tendereza mukama Koze ji mutima kwange tendereza mukama Mulungi akoze biruji mutima kwange tendereza mukama Mulungi akoze biruji mutima kwange Let's just give the Lord a powerful hand clap. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time, our God is good. Hallelujah. We're going to be very brief. I hope you have all sown your seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I am pleased to announce that my boyfriend of 32 years is back home. Boyfriend wa Pastor Jessica Oemia Gasa Tumwebili yako miewe waka. Hallelujah. Amina. Abo Luganda doza te muna chiulida. Brethren, you've not had well. Mwa garando za nzenezi ni na mazina. You want me to dance. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwe basa mukama. We thank the Lord. Eya mukomeza we mirembe. Who brought him back safely. Kwe basa mukama. We thank the Lord. Oramit. For the meetings he had in America, we thank the Lord for the freedom in the realm of the Spirit that he has given us for us to move journey and we come back safe. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time God is good. Yes. Those online. Those online. Those on television and online that Mama Jessica's boyfriend is in the house. Boyfriend is in Pastor Jessica has her boyfriend. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Mukama Murungi. Nyo. So good. And all the time, our God is a good God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are saying thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. 
Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. To see me in your mukwano, yes. To see me. To see me in your mukwano, yes. To see me. To see me in your mukwano, yes. To see me. To see me in your mukwano, yes. To see me. Asante sana Yesu Baba Asante sana 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 Haleluya Amen 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 We want to thank God that he has been gone a little longer than he usually travels. But we thank the Lord that he returned. And the church had multiplied twice. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Everywhere was packed. Hallelujah. Amen. People had nowhere to see. Only God can do that. Only God can do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have no to see. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So for those of you who don't know yet, evening service, just tell them Nalongo's boyfriend is in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time our God is good. Hallelujah. I needed to put that across so that all of you know. <laughs> Father in heaven, one more time I present myself as a vessel willing to be used of you. I pray that if there is anything in me that is more of me, that I will decrease even as you increase. Anoint my tongue like the pen of a ready writer for clarity of speech so that no one will leave the same way they came. And as your word goes forth today, to those that are bound, may it be deliverance. To those that are hurting and sorrowful, may it be glad tidings. To those that are sick, may it be the healing balm of Gilead. Father, we thank you again that as your word goes forth today, every sense at the hearing of your word is now subject to the authority of the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to the book of 2 Samuel. Chapter 7, verse 18. Hallelujah. Amen. Still looking at the spirit of Absalom and what a season, what an hour for us to examine that spirit. But we are going to look at promotion. How does promotion come? Who appreciates promotion? And how can we be promoted? There are so many people who are fighting to put other people down because they believe that is the way to be promoted. Hallelujah. Others are trying to kill other people. Others are working very hard. Others are, 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 are bribing. Uh, but how do we get promoted? Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to read from 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 18. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord. And he said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house? 
that you have brought me this far. I will repeat that again. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and he said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house that you have brought me this far? And yet this was a small thing in your sight, O Lord God. And you have also spoken of your servant's house for a great while to come. Is this the manner of man, O Lord God? Now, what more can David say to you? For your words words sake and according to your own heart, you have done these great things. David is sitting in the presence of God and he says who am I and who is the who is my and what is my house that you have brought me this far hallelujah hallelujah you are about to testify like David promotion is not because of you. Promotion belongs to the Lord. And David said, remembers where he has come from. He remembers himself as a shepherd's boy watching the sheep of his father. And in this scripture, he comes before the Lord. And he says, Lord, who am I? and what is my house that you have brought me this far I want you to know that promotion does not come from the east promotion does not even come from the west that is Psalm chapter 7 verse 75 verse 6 promotion does not come from the wilderness promotion comes from God that is verse 7 the Bible says he puts down one man and lifts up another and today you may be looking at yourself and you are thinking I am like David who am I? What is my house? But I want you to know that promotion comes from God. People may despise you. In the eyes of people, you may be a nobody. When Samuel went to the house of David to anoint him as king, even David's father did not bring David out. He despised David. He brought his oldest brothers out because they had been to war. They were generals. They were powerful. They looked great in stature. But promotion is not about the opinion of man. Promotion comes from God. The Bible says he puts up one man and he puts down another. Our God is about to promote you regardless of what people think, regardless of what they say, regardless of what they see. Samuel had to tell David's father you have another son the son you despise the son that is hidden behind the son that you couldn't even present before me that is the son that I have come to promote when God is exalting you he is not going to need the permission of anyone 
He will promote you according to his desire and according to his will. That's why the Bible says he lifts people from the dust and he makes them sit with prince and kings. When someone is in the dust, they are dirty. They are dusty. They are filthy. They may not even be deserving of promotion. But my God goes to the dust. Hallelujah. He will go to the dust and he will pick up someone that the community considers dirty that the, continue, the community considers unworthy that the community, community considers none worthwhile and lift him up and sit him with prince and kings because promotion according to him is not according to the opinions of men. That is why he says I have chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Hallelujah. Do not complain when you see someone promoted. Do not complain when you see someone exalted. Do not complain when you see someone lifted from the dust. Do not even fight them. Tremble at their God because that God is able to promote you as well. The God that has lifted them up can lift you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary said something powerful. After uh, the angel had come to her and told her that she was about to be the mother of Jesus. She said in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 52 he said, she said he has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. Why did God choose Mary? there were many women who had a, the, the status of a prophetess. There were women like Hannah who had dedicated their lives to seek God in the house of God. They had not remarried. They were seeking God. They were waiting for the Savior. Why didn't he choose the daughter of a Pharisee? Why didn't he choose the daughter of a scribe? But our God is not a respecter of persons. The word of God says the stone that the builders rejected as worthless. The, the, it was the stone that turned out to be most important. God went and chose a, a, a young girl from a humble estate. We don't even know her, her, her parents by name as individuals because they were not relevant. I want you to know that promotion comes from God. The Bible says he lifts up one man and puts down another. We cannot question God but we can position ourselves for promotion and God is about to promote you. You cannot manipulate promotion. That's why those people who try to fight others so that they can shine continue to go down. 
They continue to lose favor. They lose money. They get embarrassed. Because you cannot pull down what God has put up. You cannot cast what God has blessed. God is going to raise you up. Wait for him to raise you up. When man lifts you up, they can bring you down. But when God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. Promotion is reserved to the heavenlies. God reserves the rights of promotion. God reserves the rights to promotion. And we can never ask him. We don't even know why. The way he promotes. God says I will have mercy on whom I decide to have mercy on. So today. Promotion. Is coming. Why is it. That the more Daniel was fought. Daniel was an exile by the way. He was not a citizen of Babylon. He had gone into exile as, you know, he had gone into exile as a young boy. And he was taken into the palace. The favor of God was on him. The glory of God was on him. And he gained favor. But the moment he gained favor, he also gained haters. And they began to fight him. They began to run to the king with all sorts of stories. They had no idea that Daniel was not being promoted by a man. God was using a man. But it was God promoting him. They threw him in a lion's den because of haters. And Daniel came out alive. And he came out with more honor than the, than the people that had threw him in. Every time Daniel was reported and tortured, he was promoted. Because the promotion of God is not subject to the way people treat you. They will fight you. They will try to break you. They will go to authority and lie about you. But the more they fight, the more the Lord will raise raise you up. Because promotion is not given by a man. God can use a man. But promotion is handed down by God. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare an, an anointing of promotion. An anointing of exaltation. May God bring you from the dust and sit you with prince and kings. God is not going to wait for you to look like a prince. No. He takes you directly from the dust with your shoes dusty, with your eyelashes dusty, not resembling the position that you are going into, not resembling the people that God is going to sit you among and he places you there that's why you cannot copy promotion even though you are an expert copycat even though you have a PhD in, in copy 
copying a king does not make you a king. And that is the story we learned from Absalom. Wearing the shirt that the king wears does not make you a king. Because promotion is given by the Lord. He is the one who lifts up one man and puts down another. That's why he will go to the dust. Why doesn't he look for people who look like those positions? And when we try and fight people's promotion, we put ourselves in the position of the Holy Spirit. Which is wrong. Because that's one, one sin that cannot be forgiven. Others God can forgive. Hallelujah. We, we, we cannot dictate where the, the presence of God goes. Uzai. Uzai in the Bible. No, the, the, his name was Uza. He put his hand forward. To, to, to try and control the ark of the covenant as it was moving. And he died. Today, the presence of the Lord is coming in your house. No one is going to stand against you. Whoever will try to touch you is going to get problems. God has decided to choose you. God has decided to deliver you. God has decided to promote you. We cannot control the hand of God. But we can position ourselves and benefit from this hand. We cannot control promotion. But we can position ourselves from, for promotion. And that is where people are failing. People are about to become bankrupt. Fighting other people. Trying to put people down. The people you are trying to put down, maybe they will, they will come down if they were not put where they are by God. But it, it will not take you up. Because it is God who decides to promote and he has given us the protocol for promotion and I am going to talk about how we can position ourselves for promotion. If, if, if God allows, if the time allows. Look at Esther. An orphan. Not even a, a, a national of Pasha. But when God decides to promote you, no, your background does not matter. They may know a little bit about you. Or they may think they know a bit about you. But when God decides to promote you, it doesn't matter where, whether your father comes from the deepest end of whatever village. It doesn't matter whether your great grandmother was a witch doctor. It doesn't matter when the hand of God is on you to raise you up to take you from the dust to sit you with prince and kings your background does not matter Esther walks into the palace and she becomes queen not by might not by power but by the spirit of the Lord God is about to do it for you There is a generation that thinks they have a monopoly 
over the king the things of god and over the spiritual realm and that generation god is canceling out you are about to see young people young ministries moving at top speed david Daudi was the youngest of his brothers and he was taking care of his father's sheep but God looked at his heart I know that there is a generation that probably disagreed with David. They thought they had a monopoly. When he went to fight Goliath, his brother said, you stubborn boy. Why are you here? I've, I've, I've heard some people refer to people as, as, as kids when someone is more influential than you they are no longer a kid you, you can no longer cause this generation of kids they are, they, are no, they are no longer kids if they are more influential than, than you they are not kids because an adult is defined by what they do what we do and what we what, what we have achieved and, 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 and who we are is the reason why they call us adults. And, and elders are also divine, de defined by their output. We don't talk about ourselves and say, you, you can't do that. We, we are parents of, of the nation. It's the Lord who puts you in that position and that position speaks for itself. And God is going to do it for you. And you don't come out to defend yourself. You know you see me here. I was there from long. You see me here. I'm telling you something. God will go to the dust. God will pick up a nobody. God will pick up someone that is despised. God will pick up someone that has not been around long enough. That's what David's brothers say to him. They called him a lad in the previous chapters. But here, in the book of uh, 2 Samuel 7 we see him seated on the throne and he's saying God who am I there are people who called me young there are people who called me useless there are people who said I couldn't even find Goliath but who am I that you should bring me this far me and my house God reserves the rights for promotion. God reserves the rights for promotion. We cannot even manipulate him. We cannot even dare to manipulate him. There are very anointed ministries in this country that are pastored by young people. But you cannot come out, and, 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 and it's obvious that the, the ministries are anointed. You cannot come out and say, So you cannot come out and say, You know, I've been here from a long time ago. Now, for me who has been here long enough, you be quiet. When God promotes people, it is obvious. You can fight it. You can only be a part of it. And you can position yourself for the same anointing.
And that's why the Bible says, humble yourselves. In James chapter 4 verse 10. Humble yourselves before the Lord. And he will exalt you. When you see somebody else promoted. Humble yourself. Say, I want the God of that person. To come and exalt me. I want the God of that person. To lift me up and take me to the same level. David was the youngest. My age does not make me relevant. My age does not make me relevant. Neither does my age make me significant. It is my output. And my output will come through promotion in the spiritual realm. And promotion is through the anointing. Position yourself. Humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. And in due time he will exalt you. Continue coming to pray. Attend lunch hour. Seek the face of God. Don't kill competition. Don't kill competition. Do not kill your competitors. Let me kill this one and kill the other. So I will remain. They were telling me of a young man that was dating, you know, uh, quite a number of girls. And one of the girls decided to kill her competition. Not, not to kill them with a gun. No. She went and told them and, and told them, do you know? Good so the, other, the guy was at my place yesterday. He sleeps with me. Uh, he will infect you with a disease. Leave that man alone. And she will do the same to another and another. Finally, all these were tired, so they left the guy, but she was telling lies. So she remained alone. But it is not the one the Lord had appointed to be the wife to that, to that man. And when she remained alone, she began to prepare, ayanjure, to introduce, instead of praying, instead of seeking the face of God. Because God knows the plans he has for you. Plans to bring you prosperity are not disaster. Plans to bring you the future you hope for. And as she was getting ready, this young man went and introduced someone else. Not the others that had left. He picked someone else and, and married someone else. So you may think I'm destroying so and so so that I will, I will come up and you end up very disappointed when somebody else has come up and it is not you. Hallelujah. But when you position yourself for promotion, when you position yourself for exaltation, in due time, God will lift you up. Joshua was not even a Levite. He was not born in a, a, a priestly family. But he had humbled himself. He had served Moses. 
when Moses would go and fight on when Moses did not want to go to battle Joshua went and after in the season of most of Moses impending demise when Moses was about to go to go to go and be with the Lord God said to him call me Joshua Joshua a man filled with the spirit of leadership. Joshua was not the right tribe to lead, to be a priest. But promotion comes from God. You may think I'm not the right tribe. But I want you to know that when pro- when God decides to promote even your tribe does not matter. It is the hand of God on you. Let us humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. And in due time, He will exalt us. In due time, He will exalt us. Joseph was promoted in the spiritual realm while, while he was still with his brothers. He would sleep and, 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 and dream that he, he, they, they were bowing, they, their sheaves of corn were bowing down to him. He saw it in the spiritual realm. And some of you have had dreams of exaltation, of promotion, of God taking you to another level. Of standing before multitudes. Joseph had those dreams. Because promotion is spiritual. Promotion begins in the spiritual realm. So in case you have seen some visions, in case you have had dreams, continue to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. In due time, God will exalt you. And when Joseph came out and told his brothers, they were offended. People are going to be offended because they they are going to think you are talking too big for who you are. But wait until they meet you tomorrow. Wait until they see you tomorrow. You will say to them, I saw it in the spirit. I saw it when it was starting. He started in the spiritual realm and now it has been manifested in the physical. He began to dream when he was one of the youngest in his father's house. He was nobody. He was nothing. But in heaven, he was already somebody. God was showing him you are not at these people's levels. They are a bunch of, 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 of liars. They are hypocrites. They are wasting time. They hate you. So he came and said, look. God has put me above you. He bowed to me and they tried to stop it they tried to kill him he did not die they sold him but he prospered even when he, where he was sold he was thrown into prison but everywhere he went he was going up because he had seen it in the spiritual realm 
he was young but he had seen it and he knew that the environment environment around him was less than who he was born to be and i know that there are people that are watching today and you are looking at what is happening and you are saying this is below me god has shown me powerful things god has shown me wonderful things god has shown me great things promotion is coming your way do not manipulate promotion Don't manipulate it. There was someone who looked at somebody's marriage. And she saw that 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 that, that this wife was greatly favored. And 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 and, and the, the, the husband and wife were booming together. No, they, they were being exalted, they were being promoted together. The wife and the husband were being promoted. They are being promoted every day. And this woman said, If I entered this marriage, I will be promoted. That's a beautiful example. She entered into that marriage. Brethren, she killed that marriage. Entered into the marriage and sat in there. And she sat where the woman used to sit. She thought that she's going to be lifted. But the day she entered, is the day they began to go down. Even up to today, they are still going down. Why? Because you cannot manipulate promotion. Because you cannot manipulate promotion. She thought she would get whatever the other woman wants. She tried to bribe and do all the things she, she, she thought she would do. Things failed. But the humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. When you see promotion, rejoice. When you see promotion, humble yourself under the mighty hand that has exalted other people. And in due course, you too shall be exalted. You too shall be exalted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot manipulate promotion. If Joseph saw promotion in a spirit when, she, when he was still young, then know that promotion is spiritual. Even if you put on the shirt of someone who was promoted, it will, it will not make you promoted. Even if you seem like them, you may not be promoted. But if you begin to love their God and humble under the hand of their God, brethren, you're going to be promoted in the name of Jesus. You cannot manipulate promotion. You cannot copy promotion. Promotion. You cannot say that you see me. I've been here for long. Uh -uh. No. The young boy David who came just recently. He, he comes out. And the uh, bottles of anointing begin to pour on him. For you who came. May God have mercy on us. May God have mercy on us. 
mukama nagamba 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 Samuel nti Saul omuganye and God told Samuel I have rejected Saul nga ye muntu omukuru he was the great one ya rudde wo he has one who has been there for long nae mukama gamba amuganye but the Lord is saying I've rejected him against the kukantu akato what are you talking about? He's going to a small boy smelling dung, dung or yo chichicho. Kaliyeri mufufu. Is there in the dust? We cannot manipulate the hand of God. Tetu sawo la kudie kadie kamukono gwa katonda. We do not have a monopoly over it. It is about time. Na ye chisera vuse. We began to celebrate. Tutandike o kujaguza. That is why when the angel came to Mary he said to Mary go to your cousin Elizabeth We have already promoted her She was barren She is now pregnant Go Go to her The hand of God is there Because Mary was saying, I'm just a woman. I don't have a man. How is this going to happen? And she said, the Holy Spirit will come on you and he will overwhelm you. We have visited your cousin Elizabeth. She's with child. You cannot now deny the pregnancy. The woman is old but she is pregnant so you cannot deny that she said even if you're Jesus' mother go to her and see it. There are people going to be greater than me but you're seated here. Mama wa Yesu natambula na agenda na atula wansi wa Elizabeth. The mother of Jesus went and sat under Elizabeth. We cannot control. Tetu sobola kufuga. The hand of God. We don't have a monopoly over it. In the same way, if God give, visited, visited you at a specific time, don't fight. Toruana. When he visits other people, you had your turn. You could have used it, you could have aborted it. But we cannot say no to the generation that God is using in this season and in this time. We can't. People are not blind, brethren. When promotion is done in the spiritual realm, God decorates you. And the, 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 the anointing of promotion is obvious. It is obvious. The king had to choose from so many women. But when Esther appeared, she was already decorated with an anointing to be promoted. I want you to know that God is already anointing you even now. Just humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. And in due time, you will be exalted. In due time, you will be promoted. Celebrate promotion as it comes. Don't fight. One thing about pro promotion always comes with favor. Promotion always comes with favor. And the king loved Esther. 
above all other women. Com- promotion always comes with favor. The, you are not going to pull them down with your words. Even if you buy a certain television station, actually go losing a favor. It's you who will lose the favor. Promotion comes from God. He lifts up one man and puts down another. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, Arise and shine. For your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Promotion also comes with the glory of God. And that's why the Bible says arise. Because the glory of God is on you. You are arising today. You are not going to stay in the same place. God is taking you from one level to another. He is promoting you. He is lifting you up. And he's putting you where you were destined to go. But there are people who walk around thinking I'm deserving of where I am. And I have a monopoly of where I am. You are joking. That's why David said who am I? Even after God promoted David he still said who am I? still humbling himself under the hand of God. Who am I that you should bring me this far? Who am I that you should choose a leader out of my lineage? David would have become like so because when he reached there he began to fight against everyone that God was raising. Whomever God was raising Saul would fight against them. So he began to fight against David. But David He's before the Lord and he's saying, Lord, who am I? That you remember me. Lord, who am I? That you provided for me. Lord, who am I? That you made my heart merry. He continued to humble himself under the mighty hand of God. And David was never brought down. Because of his attitude. Even when he went to go to be with God. He was still on the throne. If God is to promote you. Do not think that you deserve that promotion. Do not become a soul. Begin hitting other people's heads. Remain down. I've worked for where I am. I'm the, I'm the one who is righteous. I'm worthy even in years. Brethren, you're causing problems to yourself. You're causing problems to yourself. Saul. Saul. God raised up and said, I've rejected him. How, no matter how far you get, always remember. All of us, where, we, where would we be? What about me, Pastor Jessica? Where would I be? I wouldn't be anywhere. Every day. Remember. David is seated in 2 Samuel chapter 7. 
And he's saying, God, who am I? And who is my house? He has not taken promotion for granted. He has not thought that he has a monopoly over promotion over where he is at. No. He has not thought he, he owns the throne. He realizes that he's just there by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Promotion comes from God. And we can position ourselves for promotion. Hallelujah. Amen. What usually causes people to copy? Aloza, nti nsukulo kudieka dieko kuyimusiba. Wenafana na wenti nange wajia kumpo muli mogo. Wenakola wenti nange katonda na nanga jia the thing that they can manipulate promotion if I do this I'll be promoted if I do this God will do this but the more they do it the more they are rejected but if you see someone promoted that place of work and they are a believer say Lord that hand that has promoted that person I also humble myself under that hand Hallelujah. Amen humble yourself under the ministry that has been promoted because when you are part of something you can't even fight it you can't fight it but if you stand afar off and look and begin to puff up and you become angry you say these people but God says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. The same hand that lifts Elizabeth will lift Mary. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The same hand that lifts Daniel will lift Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And he due time, he will exalt you. In due time, he will exalt you. Daniel chapter 2 verse 21 says, he changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. I will repeat it. He changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. The Bible says he removes kings and he sets up kings. Even if you see somebody who has left and he's been a king, don't clap and dance. The king has died. I'm the one next. It's just that their time is done. You may not be the one next in line. You may not be the one next in line. You may not be the one next in line. It is him who removes and puts up new ones. The power belongs to him. Our work is to humble ourselves under his mighty hand. But we have people who dance when people die. They see what others have left behind. They say I will enter into that. Who has told you? I don't know about you, but sometimes I 
just humble yourselves and bera nga Daudi obuze naye mukabanza ani nange nange kubera omulamu be like David and say who am I to live nzani who am I nze nondekera obulamu that you've given me life totosi na mazina do not dance he has gone ngenda kusika now I'll be there avuddewo is gone and because is onazi dawange all his flock is coming avuddewo they are gone customers onazi dawange all the customers are avuddewo they are gone wo luganda a brethren o bantu katonda eliyone chiba ito kumala miya wazana ngilika ninga tuyimba ah mazo muli mugo eliya bamale emili mujabwe nga fete tuna bana kumala jaf there are people who finish their job before we finish ours nagenda mirembe and they go in peace nesi rabanga yo muntu alwanira bintu bya mufu but i've never seen someone fighting for the possessions of the deceased aitam that succeeds Simula bang I've never seen any Because promotion is from God Kubango kuziba kuveri katonda It is from God Okuziba kuveri katonda Ahe katonda ya manya bagenze muguru ya manya batagenze fe tuba te tumanyi we are human we are only human we, we prophesy in parts that's what the bible says there's, there's a part that has not been revealed to us so He removes kings. Yebo aba jeo kabaka manyani gwa gendo kuteka our work is to And just because the person has been removed does not mean they were not a king. Hallelujah. But our work is to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Kati obanga ne Yesu. If Jesus himself. Na ye katonda ya ino muye Musa. That God he, he also God had to raise him. Katonda ne Yesu ya ino muye Musa. This was the son of God. This was God. God had to raise Jesus. Ono ni alimsa mwana wa katonda era yali katonda. Kati gwani agama nte wetaka mkono gwa mkabo ogenda bijinga jinga byonna. Who tells you that you you don't need the hand of the Lord you're going to manipulate everything. In the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 9. The Bible says therefore God exalted him. to the highest place. Ayogera ku Yesu. He's talking about Jesus. And gave him the name. That is above all names. Kati bwabanga Yesu if Jesus ye wombeka. Humbled himself. Ne bamuyimusa. He was lifted. Ate gwe nange. What about you and me? Yesu yali amanye ntambula za katonda ko zona yandi gambe ka kutambulenga katonda njogerenga ye Jesus knew all the ways of the Lord and said let me walk like God and speak Why yali katonda because he was God but God raised him up na ye katonda yamuyimusa to the highest place we fed our guru and gave him a name na muwerinya that is above every name we sing amanya gonna God reserves the right to promotion katonda yesi galiza edende eliyo kukusa and we tremble before him because the bible says he puts up one man and puts down another we tremble before him because the bible says he removes kings and puts kings his ways are not our ways his thoughts are not our thoughts we know only one thing that he has said humble yourselves under the might hand of God. And in due time, we will, you will be exalted. You will be exalted. You will be exalted. And when you are exalted, remember that it was God. Sit down in his presence like David said. And say who am I? that God you should bring me this far don't become so you sit on the throne whoever comes up you knock them down whoever comes up you knock them down atuseko atuse ngo muyingirira no 
you want what they you will not get what you will not enjoy what they enjoy hallelujah amen hallelujah amen god is good hallelujah sagala nagenda wala kusinga ko wana i don't want to go any further than this hallelujah katonda agenda kutuye musa god is going to promote us fetuka kane wansi wo mukono kwe let us humble under his hand hallelujah amen hallelujah amen in due time God has his time God has his time When he came to Gideon Gideon said how can this happen I'm the least in my father's house And my father's house is the least in the clan You may be listening to me and you're wondering how will God orchestrate promotion or exaltation in my family we are nobodies we are nothing god is not afraid of the dust he lifts people from the dust and sits them with prince and kings god is not afraid of lowly estate he lifts those of lowly estate and sits them where they should be hallelujah amen hallelujah amen god is good and all the time our god is good hallelujah amen receive this word as yours we are going to build an um our you know we 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 are going to build an altar in the place that god has spoken to us Hallelujah. Amen. That is what Jacob did. After he had the voice of God. You can do the same thing. Today. Hallelujah. Kwate nsigo yo. O zimbe ota yo ojiteke ko ogame mukama. Build an altar and put a seed and say Lord. Sigena Quran Quran ila kuyimusiwa. I'm not going to fight for promotion. Sigena kudieka dieka kuyimusiwa. I'm not going to manipulate promotion. Wabula mukama katonda wa Israeli. Gwe kenyini. You yourself. Ogenda kunyi Musa. Eranzi kaka na wansi wo mukono gwo gwa amani. And I humble myself under your mighty hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Tonda mulungi. And all the time. Ereji sera chonna. God is good. Tonda mulungi. Hallelujah. Amen. And share this sermon. Eren injili eno jigabanyi. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many people who are struggling with Amen. self-esteem. When you see all the fights in the world today. National wars, civil wars, civil strife, individuals. People are fighting for promotion. And yet God can do it. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are giving to Karamoja. And uh, all your sacrifices are going to go to Karamoja. Let us see what's happening in Karamoja. We have harvested food as you can see that is not soil that is food. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time our God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have gotten that food. And put it in bags. And as you can see. Jesus is Lord. Yesu ya mukama is written on those bags and we have given the food to the poor. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And right now we are sowing seed again We are still giving food but we are sowing seed And we are sowing over a, over wide acreage We are believing God for a lot of money So that we can um, so, so that we don't have to uh, 
plant and harvest all the time so that karamoja has a continuous supply of food. You know the Bible says that for your you know uh, it's, uh, the, the the Bible says the word of God came to Cornelius and he and the Lord said to him your prayers and the giving of alms have come up to God as a memorial. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is good. And all the time our God is good. He who gives to the poor lends to the Lord. And God will repay us with interest. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we give today everything we give is going to Karamoja. We know that a special hand of God is on Karamoja. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time our God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Let's go where God is go do what God is doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Tukole katonda chakola. Tuleme kurana na mukono gwa mukamo mukono gwa mukamo bane you cannot manipulate it let us do what god is doing don't sowa kudie kadie ka mukono gwa mukama nebu kuluti however much you try hallelujah amen god is good and all the time our god is good let us sira chona katonda wa fe murunji hallelujah amen ah uh, so the number is on the screen a number eri kulutimbe we are going to sow seed let's pray Banage bukasera katofu katonda gena tui musafena. The appointed time God is going to promote all of us. Tokutuka. Do not be heartbroken. Togwa mumanyi. Do not be discouraged. Nayo kusingira dala torana. Most of all do not fight. Okusingira dala torana. Most of all do not fight. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not fight. Torana. Do not fight. Do not do, 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 do not come against what God is doing. Do not try and control the hand of God. Hallelujah. Let us, let us celebrate what he's doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey. ministry ministry spearheading. Zona 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 na azo gera na gaziri keche chamu na yeko gamba nenga kakati okugureze sentezo ezi sentezo okuziwa abantu bwe batu nze what i would rather do i would rather give that money to karamoch instead of giving money to people to start abusing ministries kubanga ne ministries ya yogede teli ayiza na kukiriza that rubbish kubanga all the ministries he has spoken about tenu masola kukiriza kasa siro haleluya but it's better if you have that money the hand of the lord is in karamoja hallelujah sikwato ziwe karamoja kubanga ononya kula ononya kuyimusibwa acha te kuyimusibwa atoziwe katonda bata yimusiza how can you, you want promotion but you're giving money to the people that God has not promoted and oziwa waranyisa katonda bayi musiza you're giving to the people who are fighting the, those that God has promoted hallelujah amen hallelujah amen so let's take let let, let let's give let, let let's respect the hand of god katonda ali karamoja gabirira abana ko sente ziwe karamoja sente zirwana ziwe karamoja God is is in Karamoja feeding the poor. The money that you're using to fight, give it to Karamoja. Give it to Karamoja. God will bless you. That you may humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. God will promote you. God will promote you. We were we we are not where we were. Hallelujah. Amen. You know. So God can do anything. And we celebrate what he's doing in Uganda. We celebrate the new ministries that are coming up. Even though they are moving at stop speed, we are celebrating them. Hallelujah. We are celebrating them. We celebrate where the hand of God is. Because we cannot manipulate the, the, the presence of 
of God. He goes where he chooses to go. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our ways. Our thoughts. But when we celebrate what God is doing, we saw celebration to to siga o kujaguza ni mnyomba za fe. We saw celebration in our houses. Omani no kujaguza na yon sigo. You know celebration is also a sin. Boja guli zo mulele. If you celebrate another. Abana baba abana baba ya kujaguza. Your children will also celebrate. Business zo zi ya kujaguza. Your businesses will celebrate. Enyomba ye ya kujaguza. Your house will celebrate. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time our God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity to bring our seeds to you. Father, today we plant our altar in the place that you have spoken to us. Like Jacob, we come back to build an altar in the place that you have fed us. And Father, we sacrifice. We embrace this word. We choose to humble ourselves under your mighty hand. And we know that in due time, we will be exalted. Father, we will not manipulate promotion. We will not uh, despise promotion. And we will not imitate or copy promotion. But today, oh God, we humble ourselves under your mighty hand. Exalt us in due time. Lift us up in due time, oh God. We humble ourselves where your hand is. And we know that the hand that has lifted Daniel has lifted Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. Father, promotion does not come from the east or west. It doesn't even come from the wilderness. But it comes from you. As you have said in your word in Psalm 75 verse 6. Because you have lifted up one man and put down another. And Lord, today, as we give to the poor, we know we are lending you. As this seed falls in Karamoja, may it bear fruit in our families, among our children, in everything that is ours. Father, may men give unto us good measure, press down, shaken together, shall men give unto our bosoms. And Father, we thank you that for those of us that are tithing, you are opening the windows of heaven to those of us that are tithing, you are rebuking the devourer again. Lord, for those of us that are giving in tears, may we reap in joy. And for those of us that are giving today in famine, may we reap a hundredfold. Hallelujah. As you give your offering today, I decree a promotion. Those who have seen dreams that have already been promotion had already begun in the realm of the spirit. I decree them to be something visible and tangible. Begin to decree them as Joseph did. Don't be afraid and don't be ashamed. Promotion is of the spirit. If you have seen it in the realm of the spirit. Brethren, it is coming. As you're giving decree, and say, I'm not remaining where I am. Lord, you're raising me. Lord, you're taking me to another level. Lord, you're, you're promoting me. Your hand is upon me. Hallelujah. Now, you have been humbling yourself under the mighty hand of God. You have sought God. You have sought God. 
Osabie Wega ili dekatonda Baibu ya manja kasena Koku ganja Aka israeli o ganja kekati The Bible says time to favor Israel is now O kukuzi wako kuyimusi wako kuja Your promotion and exhortation is coming Ngo wayo mkasena kan As you give at this time Langi de anti nyimu sivwa Decree and say I'm being promoted Nyimu sivwa I'm being promoted Ache mugama mukama longo somotima guanji Say Lord clean my heart Neme kunyi gira bo katonda ba ko ze mu muri that I will not be annoyed with those people that God has promoted mukama lord kubanga ne wo mbeka wansi wo mkono go gwa amani because i humble myself under your mighty hand hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen. we bale yesu thank you jesus we yesu the number is on the screen give your seed while celebrating why yesu ko yongo jaguza every word that you received every prophecy that you have ever received every vision and dream you have ever received regarding promotion that you saw in the spiritual realm it is about to manifest hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. it's about to manifest it started a long time ago it's in the in, in the spiritual realm god has already lifted you up there is you are just undergoing a process right now hallelujah Amen. you are not going to stay in the pla- same place that you were whether you were in the dust god is not afraid of the dust he comes to the dust and lifts prince and king he, he went to the ghetto and looked for Mephibosheth and he brought him to the palace to sit with prince and king they lied to you when they said you were too low to be promoted God can promote you if he brought Obededom into the realm of blessing a grandchild of Goliath he can do it for you regardless of your background therefore I decree and declare promotion and decree and declare it even as you are sowing your seed decree and declare it now you also decree say my house is promoted my children are promoted my marriage is promoted my ministry is promoted I'm not going to fight with people like so. I won't put others like so. God will look for me himself. As he looked for David. He will raise me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Love for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The number is on the screen. Zika kana wasi wumu kono go Ompa nirire ompa mani Zika kana wasi wumu kono go Ompa nirire ompa mani Zika kana wasi wumu kono go Ompa nirire onye mose Zika kana wasi wumu kono go Ompa nirire ompa mani